so friends now we are understanding some crops of coarse grains listen very carefully what is the meaning of coarse grain coarse grain means the crop which could grow up with the use of less water it is called coarse grain jowa bajra maize and barley jowa bajra maize and barley are considered as coarse grain in your textbook out of all these four coarse grains three are discussed here so first i start to discuss about jowa see jowa is main food grain for hilly region people as like the maize it is third important crop in india after paddy and wheat the people living in less rain receiving areas mainly use jowar as their important food crop in region of peninsula region of south india jowar mainly produce and in kharif and rabi in both the way we can say that jowar could grow up the favoring atmosphere is 25 to 30 degree temperature 50 cm rainfall is most important black and loamy soil is useful for grown up jowar and we can say that these are main favorable conditions for jowar see sometime favorable condition of any crop could be asked so the favorable condition is usually prepared for two months for any crop not only jowar but rice wheat coffee tea every so here i discussed about favorable condition again i repeat temperature required 25 degree to 30 degree rainfall possibly 50 cm soil must be black and loamy now i am discussing the regions of india where jowar mainly grown up maharashtra andhra pradesh karnataka gujarat and tamil nadu means almostly the less rainfall receiving regions not include punjab i repeat not include punjab and haryana but these regions mostly i can found are coastal line having regions also see that maharashtra andhra pradesh 
Karnataka, Tamil Nadu and Gujarat. Every state is coastal line having state. But they are producing more jowar. In Gujarat, if we want to think about the districts, then South in South Gujarat, Surat and Tapi district are producing more jowar. Okay, one thing more. It does not mean that they are not using other crop as the food crop. They are using wheat is the important food crop in all over India, but jowar is also become more important after these days. Now, okay, the next one is millet. Generally, laborers are giving more importance to the millet as their main food diet. The regions where temperature between 25 to 30 degree, rainfall between 40 to 50 centimeter, and the light sandy soil will be favorable conditions for growing up millet. In Rajasthan, Gujarat, Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, we can see growing up millet in more proportion generally in Gujarat the district of Banaskanta district of Banaskanta is producing more millet production in whole Gujarat so the importance of millet always find more in the less rainfall receiving regions. Now we discuss about maize. So first you remember the maize as most grown up crop in the world after paddy and wheat. If in regarding India, the jowar is the third crop after paddy and wheat. But in all over the world, after the paddy and wheat, maize is most producing crop. In hilly region, maize produced more. So it is called main food crop or the staple food of the people in hilly region. Maize which means is the crop which contains starch oil proteins biofuel so we can use it as industrial production also. So you understand very well that for the food purpose, for the industrial production purpose, in all the way, the maize comes in use for the people.
the favorable conditions for maize are 21 degree to 27 degree temperature 50 cm to 100 cm rainfall sloppy land black land hard land is main and important land for producing maize generally the regions which have water in a gently flow not in a fast flowing way in a gentle flow wherever the water is passing through such land is useful for producing maize crop sometime in the exam the use of maize could be asked as like the wheat we have discussed earlier used as animal fodder dani which we can say popcorn and producing the oil from it so many people use corn oil as the oil edible oil major states for producing maize are rajasthan uttar pradesh bihar madhya pradesh punjab jammu and kashmir himachal pradesh karnataka and andhra pradesh these are the main maize producing states but if we if we talk about gujarat then the main districts are panchmahal dahod sabarkantha arvalli district as important district for producing more maize one another crop in gujarat i want to discuss as the staple food of adivasi it is nagli or the ragi so many people said adivasi as aboriginal people ab origin people so they are living in the hilly area so they are using nagli as staple food for this ab origin for the adivasi people nagli is used for producing different type of the dishes like biscuits chocolates toast naan katai wafer and papdi are produced from the floor of nagli or the rag now the question comes why the people are using more adivasi people are using more 
the main reason is extremely nutritious grass food crop is nugly i repeat extremely nutritious grass food crop is nugly in all crops protein minerals and vitamins are more in nugli is found more so people are using it more for the benefit of diabetic patient diabetic patient and cardiac patients nugli use more in all people here when i am talking about the patients it does not mean that for the adivasi or any specific but in a general manner i am saying so another supplements are found calcium and iron so now you calculate protein minerals vitamins calcium and iron are found more in nugli if it is used for removing malnutrition it is most important food crop for kids to give them more vitamins so it is used as also making baby food too the adivasi farmers are using chapati or the rotla made from nugli flour also nugli is in local word said as bavta in gujarat also it is called finger millet and african millet so now you understand the nugli is not relate only with one country but it is a wider spread food crop in all over the world right my friends so here i discussed with you all four crops earlier jowar then millet then maize then nugli now i am going to discuss about pulses see pulses are considered as main source of protein for vegetarian people the main crop for vegetarian people to get protein because they are not eating enough meat which crop are considered as pulses let us discuss tuwar mung gram peas beans mut and urad tuwar mung gram peas beans mut and urad are considered as important pulses in india on the proportion of rainfall in more proportion wherever the states are getting more proportion of the rainfall they are producing
pulses more the states like madhya pradesh actually more rainfall is not a favorable remember all states are producing but more rainfall is not a favorable for production of pulses so they are unable to produce more but wherever it is not mean to the less rainfall but over rain is harming to the production of pulses so i use the word wherever the more rainfall are not producing but in gujarat rajasthan madhya pradesh uttar pradesh maharashtra odisha and bihar also andhra pradesh too are producing more proportion of pulses in gujarat the vadodara district कच्छ डिस्ट्रिक्ट पाटन डिस्ट्रिक्ट आर मेन रीजन्स वेर डिफरंट पल्सिस क्रॉप्स आर ग्रोन अप एज लाइक तुअर मेनली इन वडोदरा मूंग एंड मट मेनली इन कच्छ उड़द मेनली इन पाटन डिस्ट्रिक्ट so if we consider pulses as the supplement to the land it is also important means pulses if grown up in whichever the land will get nitrogen in more proportion so for the farmers it is used for inter crop production means after one food grain the pulses will be taken then another food grain then again the pulses means it will add more proportion of nitrogen in the soil so it is a supplement to the soil for giving support for crop production more so in that way for farming also the pulses are important right my friends so here we discuss about pulses earlier we discuss about coarse grain now we are going to discuss about hot beverages we all meaning of the hot beverage we all know the meaning of the hot beverages the drinking crops which crops are useful for producing the crop based on the use for the drinking for all the people as like the tea coffee and coca okay in the hot beverages i am discussing now about tea generally tea is considered as plant of tropical and temperate zone sometimes this question ask for one line the tea leaves are used for process and making its powder with small leaves of the tea plant is used to make the drink india is producing maximum tea in all over the world after china so it means we are second leading tea producing country 
श्रीलंका चाइना एंड इंडिया इन दैट वे वी आर आल्सो वन ऑफ द लीडिंग टी एक्सपोर्टर से द प्रोडक्शन इज द डिफरेंट थिंग एंड टू डू द एक्सपोर्ट इज द डिफरेंट थिंग सो डोंट मिक्स इट बोथ ओके अगेन आई रिपीट इंडिया इज प्रोड्यूसिंग मोर टी आफ्टर चाइना सो इन द प्रोडक्शन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू इंडिया इज ऑन द सेकंड प्लेस इन वर्ल्ड इन एक्सपोर्टिंग पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू इंडिया इज द थर्ड स्टेट श्रीलंका चाइना एंड इंडिया नाउ वी डिस्कस अबाउट द फेवरेबल कंडीशन स्लॉपी लैंड वेर वॉटर फ्लो इजीली कैन नॉट स्टोर द लैंड विच हैज गुड प्रपोर्शन ऑफ आयन ट्वेंटी डिग्री टू थर्टी डिग्री सेंटीमीटर टू हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर रेनफॉल आर यूजफुल फॉर प्रोड्यूसिंग टी प्रोडक्शन इन मोर प्रपोर्शन जनरली इन इंडिया आसाम इज मोस्ट टी प्रोड्यूसिंग स्टेट but except assam other states are mostly in the hilly regions and sloppy regions it is produced so whenever we think about the state the state must be required to be think in point of view hilly regions first so the assam is the most tea producing state the other states are west bengal uttarakhand उत्तर प्रदेश तमिलनाडु एंड कर्नाटक रिपीटली सेइंग आफ्टर आसाम वेस्ट बंगाल उत्तराखंड उत्तर प्रदेश तमिलनाडु एंड कर्नाटक आर कंसीडर एज मोस्ट टी प्रोड्यूसिंग स्टेट आफ्टर आसाम in all these states assam and bengal are producing 75% of total tea because in bengal the darjeeling is the region counted after assam as most tea producing part of india now remember one thing more in field of tea leaves plucking women are used more to plucking up tea leaves skillful from the tea plants so the plant may not harm it cannot be disturbed from the roots and more tea leaves can be collected so the female are used mainly in tea leaves plucking activity right so here i discussed about tea crop okay friends